This problem says that a uniform electric field with a magnitude of 250 newtons per coulomb is directed in the positive x direction. A 12 microcoulomb charge moves 20 centimeters in the same direction as the electric field. What is the change in the electrical potential energy of the system as a result of the change in this position of this charge? So first thing we want to do is draw a diagram. Here's my electric field. And so our electric field is a positive 250 newtons per coulomb. I know it's positive because the direction is to the right in the positive x direction. We are given that we have a charge. It is a positive charge of 12 microcoulombs. And it's going to move a distance of 20 meters, I'm sorry, 20 centimeters to the right. So our change in distance is a positive 20 centimeters. We want to find out what is the electrical potential energy of this situation. So first we look for equations. Since we're given the electric field, we know that the electrical potential energy is the opposite of Q times E times D. But we're finding the change in potential energy, so we want to find it with delta D. Electrical potential energy is a scalar, but we have to put the positive and negatives into the equation. So we have the opposite of, and then our charge is positive 12 microcoulombs. So micro means times 10 to the negative 6. Times our electric field, which is a positive 250 newtons per coulomb. That's already in the correct units. And our displacement is 20 centimeters to the right. That's also positive. But we need to change this to meters. So it becomes point two meters. We then multiply this out and we get that the potential energy has changed by a value of negative six times 10 to the negative fourth. Units for any type of energy is joules. So this potential energy has decreased. What has happened to this potential energy? Well, it's going to move the charge now. Uh, this electric field is moving the charge, and so therefore this decrease in potential energy is associated with an increase in kinetic energy. So again, energy is conserved, so if we let an object go within, a, within an electric field, the potential energy should go down because the kinetic energy is going to go up. One form of energy is just transferred into another form. In this problem, we have two point charges that are located on the y-axis. One of five nanocoulombs is at the origin, and the second of eight nanocoulombs is at the point 20 centimeters above the origin. What is the electrical potential energy associated with the arrangement of charges at the third charge of negative seven nanocoulombs is at the point 40 centimeters above the origin? Uh, we have a lot going on here, so first we want to start by drawing a diagram. So here's our Cartesian coordinates, and we go 10, 20, 30, 40 centimeters. So we'll label the 20 and the 40. And we're given three charges. The first one is 5 nanocoulombs. So I'll label this as Q5, positive 5 nanocoulombs. Second one is 8 nanocoulombs. So this is at 20 centimeters. I'll label this as Q8. And it's a positive 8 nanocoulombs. And then the third charge is negative 7. And so I'll label this as Q7 negative seven nanocoulombs. We want to find what is the electrical potential energy because of this arrangement. Uh, we are not given an electric field, instead we're given point charges. And so what we're actually going to do is we're going to find the potential energy between five and eight, then we'll find the potential energy between five and seven, and then we'll find the potential energy between eight and seven. So there's actually three combinations. Then we'll add them all up. Since they're scalars, we don't have to deal with any kind of vector or resolution uh, or breaking things into components. So let's write down uh, what we have here. The first, we'll find the potential energy between five and eight. And so to solve for that, it is going to be our equation is K Q5 Q8 divided by the distance. And so if we keep our notation, K is 8.99 times 10 to the 9th. Uh, this is Coulomb's constant. 
and so I'll just write k because of my space here. And so then we have five nanocoulombs. Nano means times 10 to the negative ninth coulombs. Then we have eight nanocoulombs. So again, that's eight times 10 to the negative ninth coulombs. Now, the distance is always a positive number. And it's simply the distance between, in this case, five and eight, which is 20 centimeters. But we're going to have to convert that to 0.2 meters. We get an answer then of 1.80 times 10 to the negative six, and that would be in joules. So it'd be a positive 1.80 times 10 to the negative six joules. Next, we'll do the same thing. We'll find the potential energy between, in this case, five and seven. So find the potential energy between five and seven. It's going to be K Q5 Q7 divided by R. So again, Coulomb's constant, 8.99 times 10 to the ninth. We must be in Coulomb's, and so it's five nano means negative ninth and negative seven nanocoulombs. So now we have to include those negatives. And then we have our distance. And again, the distance is always positive in this equation. The distance between five and seven is 0.4 centimeters. But we have to convert that, I'm sorry, 40 centimeters, but we have to convert that to 0.4 meters. So it's 40 centimeters converted to 0.4 meters. We saw when we get an answer, it is a negative 7.87 times 10 to the negative 7. And all energy is in the unit of joules if we keep things in the proper units of coulombs and meters. Next, we're going to find the potential energy between 8 and 7. So we'll find the potential energy between these last two pairings. So this will be K, Q8, Q7, divided by R. Coulomb's constant, 8.99 times 10 to the ninth. Eight nanocoulombs, which means times 10 to the negative ninth coulombs. And negative seven nanocoulombs, negative seven times 10 to the negative ninth coulombs. And then we need the distance. Now the distance between charge eight and charge seven goes from 20 to 40. That's a difference here of 20 centimeters. We have to convert that to meters, so it comes out to be 0.2 meters. Our answer then comes out to be negative 2.52 times 10 to the negative six, and it would be joules because it's an energy. Now, if you're working this problem, uh, the easiest thing to do is just, uh, if you have one of those TI calculators, bring up second entry. If you're just changing the eight to a set, negative seven, change the two to a four. Then do second entry again, you're changing the five to an eight and the four back to a two. So it makes things a lot easier for you. Finally, we're going to find the total. So we add them all up and the total electrical potential energy comes out to be negative 1.51 times 10 to the negative six joules. So it's just scalars, we just add them all up no vectors, no uh, vector resolution is necessary.